Hi, boys and girls. So here we are again. We're still playing with pumpkins. We've painted pumpkins and that was a lot of fun, a lot of messy fun. But now I thought it'd be fun to make a pumpkin out of a paper plate. And this time we can show its insides. So we're still kind of carving pumpkins, but not really. And this is the pumpkin paper plate I'm talking about. So as you can see, we've got the seeds from the pumpkin inside of it. And we've got the membranes, the strings that are inside the pumpkin. But it still is on the outside. And the cool thing about this pumpkin, if you hang it up in your window and you hold it up to the light, it glows from the light shining through it. So that's kind of a fun pumpkin we can make with a paper plate. And if you come down to the Herm Memorial Library, we've got these craft kits that you can take and it comes complete with directions on how to do this craft and everything you need to make it, including the paper plate and the string and the seeds and the construction paper and even the contact paper that you're going to need to um, get this all to sit. So we're gonna take all this apart here and a special thanks to the ladies at the library who have worked so hard to put these kits together for you kids. And we're gonna put our tissue paper over here and our construction paper here. So the first thing you're going to need to do on your paper plate pumpkin is to paint your paper plate. And you have to paint both sides, this side and the back side of it, and let it thoroughly dry. And we have an example for you that here. Here's the one side we painted with the other side waiting to be painted and then we have it where it's on both sides. And we use just plain, regular orange paint, watercolor, um, water-soluble paint. You can also use acrylic paint, whatever kind of paint you have. Um, you could also color with crayons or markers. If you don't have paint, that might be a little bit less messier, but we think the paint gives it a nice um, orange hue to it. Once you've got it all painted and it's dried on both sides, that will take the longest. But once you get that all done, you see the circle in the middle of the plate here? We want to cut that circle out. And the best way to do that is to kind of fold your plate over a little bit and put an incision right in the middle like so. And now you can kind of cut up. And then we're going to cut around. Now depending on the size of the contact paper, um, you might not want to cut through the entire size of the, the circle on the inside. So I'm cutting just inside the circle. Um, just to make sure that our contact paper, which is going to cover this circle, will be wide enough. And then we'll cut that out too. There we go. And now you have a circle. Hi! <laughs> nice little circle inside your paper plate. Okay, now the next step that we're going to do is to get out our contact paper. Now, Ms. Corey is not a fan of contact paper but it does have its uses. And you want to make sure if you're not coming in to get the kit that you use just clear. You can get this at any big box store. And you have to peel the paper backing off from the plastic. And this is why Miss Corey's not a fan of this because this can be kind of challenging to do. You might need a parent or a caregiver to help you with that. And then you just peel off the paper backing and you can discard that. Now on your paper plate, there is a right side and a wrong side, the underside. And we want to place our contact paper. You want to have your paper plate facing right side up and you want to place your contact paper over the hole on the right side and press on the edges, but not in the center. Okay. Press on the edges, but not in the center. It's still going to stick to your table, so be careful. And then flip your paper over so the sticky side is up. Now at this point, you need your seeds. Now you can either use pumpkin seeds, which are what we've got in the kit provided, or you can also use zucchini seeds or summer squash seeds because they are very similar. In fact, one year Miss Corey planted what she thought was pumpkin seeds in her garden, and she got lots of zucchini because she had mixed up the packages. They're very similar, so you can use either one. So go ahead and take your seeds out and pumpkins are full of seeds. And so I think the ladies in the library gave you at least a dozen and we want to put them all over the sticky inside of our, of our pumpkin here. And try not to get them to lay on top of each other. You do need them separate and put them all over here because your pumpkins are full of pumpkin seeds, yummy, delicious pumpkin seeds that we can Drizzle with oil and roast and dip them with salt. So yummy, such a healthy treat. Except for the salt, maybe. Then we provided you with a string of yarn. 
This is a long string of yarn. And what we want you to do is just kind of lay it gently in a circular motion, kind of around your seeds. Remember when you carve a real pumpkin on the inside, is all that drippy, slimy, wet, um, white membrane. And we wanna cover all that up. And we're just gonna kinda of go like that. If you think you have too much string, you can always trim it. And put your membrane like that, okay? Now the last step is to take your tissue paper squares, your orange tissue paper squares. Again, if you can't pick up the kit, just buy some tissue paper and cut it into squares. And we want to lay that all over your pumpkin, right on top of this um, contact paper. And try to get it to stick as much as you can as you're laying it on there. I think, um, I think we try to include two different colors of contact paper in here too. Some of it's a little bit brighter orange, just to kind of give your pumpkin some depth and some color. It's okay if it pops up a little bit, because we're gonna put another um, thing of contact paper on top to seal this. So it's okay if they um, pop up. And I'll put some of the darker over here and maybe some more darker over here. And we just wanna completely cover your pumpkin, the insides. This is what makes it glow when you hold it up against the light. And we'll Push it down on there, and a little bit here, we're almost got it covered now. Maybe a couple more tissue paper covers here. It's okay to press down on those seeds and that yarn to really get it in there good. And you know, make sure you cover it completely up, because any light that comes through is going to show us white, and we don't want that. Okay. And one more for good measure right there. Okay, so now we're gonna take our second sheet of contact paper. And once again, we have to peel it from its back. I know this is probably the hardest part of this craft. He's trying to peel this off. And just like that. And this time, we're going to cover it just like so. And you want to push down and secure it nice and solid. And then we can flip that back over. And you see how they're all kind of stuck inside? Now we can make the stem and the leaves. To make the stem and the leaves, we provided a strip of brown construction paper. And here, you can just kind of curve up like that. And we'll kind of curve up a little bit again. And I think this is a little long for stem, so we're gonna cut that short. And so that's our stem. And now for our leaves, I recommend you fold the green square in half. And then you can either use a pencil and draw a leaf outline shape, or you can just kind of come up and curve and come to a point at the top, like so. And then when you get to the top, just mirror that on the other side and come right back down. Now on my sample one, we did three leaves, but for this one I'm only gonna do two. And then you wanna take your marker, you wanna use a thin black marker, and you just wanna kinda of draw the veins of the leaf here. And you can go like this. And on this one, make sure we have the center one, and maybe we'll go like this. There we go. And then on the back side of our pumpkin here, we're gonna turn them upside down one more time. We're gonna get our glue and we're going to glue down. Put a lot of glue here. And we're gonna glue down your pumpkin stem. You do like that. And your leaves. Just slide them all together and let them glue. And then you're gonna to wanna to let that dry. But there's your pumpkin. Isn't that cute? Now when, you, when it's all dry, we need to let that sit here and dry a little bit longer. But when it's all dry, you can put tape on the back side of it 
and hang it in your window and you'll get a glowing inside of your pumpkin. Inside out pumpkin jack, right? That's a really cute pumpkin craft idea that you guys can hang on your walls to help celebrate fall. I hope you guys enjoyed all things pumpkin this week as we explored uh, pumpkin patches and helped duck and goose find a pumpkin. And as we painted pumpkins, um, now it's time to go home and maybe make a pumpkin pie or pumpkin bars or pumpkin cake or pumpkin muffins or pumpkin cookies. So many things we could do with pumpkins. I hope you guys enjoy this fall and this wonderful pumpkin season. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye.